Hi everyone, I'm Anton from University of Maryland College Park. Today, I'll be presenting our work, Mesh to IR, Neural Acoustic Impulse Response Generator for Complex 3D Scenes. We propose a mesh-based neural network to generate acoustic impulse responses for a given indoor 3D scenes represented using a mesh. Acoustic impulse responses are used to create high quality sound experience in interactive applications. Acoustic impulse responses are also used to augment far field speech data set for speech processing applications. Our mesh to IR is capable of generating more than 10,000 acoustic impulse responses per second for a given indoor environment. Ours is the first neural network based approach to predict impulse responses for a given 3D scene mesh in real time. The generated acoustic impulse responses from our mesh to IR show significant improvement in performance in speech applications such as speech derivation and speech separation. Complex indoor 3D scenes with furnitures can be represented in details using mesh models. Among 3D indoor scene mesh data sets, 3D front data set contains large scale synthetic furnished indoor 3D scenes with fine geometric and texture details. The 3D front data set has more than 6,000 CAD houses, where 19,000 rooms are furnished with 13,000 3D furniture objects. Among 6,000 CAD houses, we use 5,000 houses for training our mesh to IR. We use acoustic impulse responses from GW dataset to train our network. IRs in the GW dataset are created by automatically calibrating the ray energy simulated using the geometry acoustic method with wave effects simulated using finite difference time domain wave solver to create high quality, low frequency and high frequency wave effects. The GW dataset consists of 2 million impulse responses simulated on the indoor 3D environment represented as measures in the 3D front data set. Out of the 2 million impulse responses, we train mesh to ir on 200,000 impulse responses simulated in 5,000 different indoor environments from 3D front data set. We downsample the IRs in the GW data set to 16,000 hertz and crop the IRs to have a duration of 0.25 seconds. The standard deviation of the ground truth impulse responses varies in the order of 10 to the power minus 12 to 10 to the power minus 2. We notice that it is hard for our mesh to IR to learn from such data set with high dynamic ranges. To overcome this issue, we divide the impulse responses to have a constant standard deviation of 0.1. To recover the impulse responses with the original magnitude, we duplicate the standard deviation of the impulse responses 128 times and concatenate them at the end of the pre-process impulse responses. The number of phases in the 3D front data set varies from about 2,000 phases to 3 million phases. We initially simplify the measures using the quadratic based edge collapse algorithm in PyMesh Lab to have a fewer number of faces. The following figure depicts the original indoor 3D scene mesh and the simplified mesh using the quadratic edge collapse algorithm. We can see that high level details of the furniture, such as bed, pillow, settee, table, and cupboard, are preserved in the simplified mesh in addition to the scene geometry. In this example, the simplified mesh has only 2% of faces of the original mesh. Our mesh encoder network transforms the simplified indoor scene mesh to a low dimension latent space. The triangular meshes can be represented using graph data. Therefore, we represent the 3D scene meshes as graph by extracting the edge connectivity and vertex coordinates from the mesh and pass to our graph neural network. The graph network reduces the nonlinearity in the mesh space by transforming 3D scene meshes to latent space. We concatenate the mesh latent vector with the source and listener positions in the 3D Cartesian space to generate C vector embedding pi a of dimension 14. We pass the C vector embedding pi a to a one dimension modified conditional GAN to generate single precise impulse response for the given indoor 3D scene. 
Condition GAN is conditioned on a random noise Z and a condition Y to generate multiple outputs that satisfy the condition Y. The modified condition GAN is only conditioned on Y to generate single output. The discriminator network discriminates between the ground truth impulse responses and generated impulse responses during training. We demonstrate the sound rendering quality of our mesh 2 IR on three different 3D indoor scenes. In our first scene, a person sings inside a bedroom and the listener moves around the house. The sound source, that is the song, is represented using a red sphere. In our second example, the, the phone rings in the bedroom and we play the piano in the living room. We move the listener around the house. The sound sources, that is the ring and the piano are represented using a red sphere. In our last example, a person speaks in the hall and a machine works inside a room. We move the listener around the house. Here, the sound sources, that is the speech and the machine, are represented using a red sphere. In language, infinitely many words can be written with a small set of letters. In arithmetic, infinitely many numbers can be composed from just a few digits with the help of the symbol zero, the principle of position, and the concept of base. Your systems with base 5 and 6 are said to be very rare, but base 20 occurs in English when we use score, as in 4 score and 7. Eventually, no system could keep pace with the decimal or Arabic number system, which has 10 numerals, the digits. The following table shows the average runtime of different stages in Amish to Ira. On average, mesh simplification takes around 7.5 seconds, mesh to graph conversion consumes 0.04 seconds, encoding graph to mesh latent vector takes around 2.5 milliseconds, and acoustic impulse response generation using the scene vector embedding takes around 74 microseconds. To generate thousands of impulse responses for a given furnished indoor 3D scene, we perform mesh simplification, mesh to graph conversion, and mesh encoding only once. Therefore, our mesh to IR can generate more than 10,000 impulse responses per second on a single GPU for a given furnished 3D indoor scene. And the runtime of our mesh to IR is irrespective, stable irrespective of the scene. We demonstrate the benefit of our mesh to IR on speech applications such as speech derubration and derubrant speech separation. We generate 11,000 impulse responses from 600 different scenes that are not used during our training using GA, GWA, and our mesh to IR. We generate a derubrant speech using the 11,000 impulse responses and train speech derubration and speech separation models. A reverent speech can be generated by convolving a clean speech with the impulse response. Speech derivation is the process of obtaining real free speech from reverent speech. We train speech derivation model using the data generated from different synthetic impulse response generation methods 
and compare their performance on data generated from recorded impulse responses. We test the model on impulse responses from the MIT dataset, Beauty River dataset, and RWCP dataset. For all the experiments, we train the skip coordinate model with its default parameters. We use the matrix SRMR to measure the performance of our derebration process. High SRMR implies high speech quality and low reverberation effects. The following table shows the speech derivation results. We can see that our mesh to ir performs similar to GWA, which is used to generate the training data set of our mesh to ir Speech separation is the process of separating a mixture of speech signal into its constituent speech signal. We train DPRNN TASNET model using synthetic reverberant speech generated with liberty to mix clean speech and different training synthetic impulse responses. We test the model using the recorded speech in four different room configurations in the voices data set. We use the metric SISDR to evaluate the performance. Higher SISDR value, better the performance. The following speech separation results also shows that our mesh to IR performs similar to GW in speech separation experiments in four different room configurations presented in the voices data set. In summary, we present a novel neural network based mesh to IR architecture to generate thousands of impulse responses for a given furnished indoor 3D scene on the fly. We showed that impulse responses predicted by MH2 IR in unseen indoor 3D scenes are highly similar to the ground truth impulse responses generated from the GWA data set, which is used to train MH2 IR. Thank you.